Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum 0.6. And last time we dealt with a very large <laughs> Antigonid army, and we can also see that they've got plenty of armies in the north, but we need the Thracians. Come on, Thracians, get attacking them. This is your job, Thracians, to raid Macedon. It is literally your purpose in life, my friends. Too busy fighting each other, I think. But yeah, we are the main uh, antagonist. Antagonist! <laughs> We're the main antagonist, or shall we say antagonist, to the antagonists. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to use that from now on. The antagonist to the antagonists. But anyway, um, Sparta's also, you know, bobbing around with some trash armies. And I don't appreciate that, Sparta. I'm not going to lie. Thank you for doing that. Just showing your classic caveman tendency, Sparta, aren't you? But anyway, let's press the end turn, guys, and I'll see you after that. So the Antigonids decided that they don't want to protect their fabled faction leader. But I think this uh, siege battle is going to be pretty darn brutal. And allies, come on, Antigonids. Fight someone else. Stop just fighting me. <laughs> Please. Please. Let's, uh, let's pop in the sewers. Let's do our building, guys. Let's start with my favorite part of the game. It's doing some more building, <laughs> um, which is actually genuinely my favorite part of the game. I'm not, I'm not taking the mick <laughs> there at all. It is actually one of my favorite parts of this game. Um, Kikiros, let's keep going for population growth in our low fertility regions. Like the donor, let's get that in there. You are making a thousand, so that's not a problem at all. Oricon, pointless to build anything in there. We can't afford anything. Lucas, yeah, again, probably population growth because you've not got a very high population. But in fact, let's save our money to build something in Tricker because that's a better place than Lucas indeed. So let's go for the communal farming there. No recruitment was done this turn, but let's have a look at what Antigonus Ganatus has to offer. More Thessalian cavalry. How are you getting this Thessalian cavalry, man? You don't even have Thessaly anymore. You don't even have the recruitment capability. I guess uh, Extreme Mode just allows them to recruit what they want. Thracian Hippacontistae as well. And Chalcospedes. And a couple of Thurio Foroi. This is genuinely going to be a pretty darn brutal siege battle. I can see it already. So do we have the capability of recruiting anything good in these regions? Like, we definitely can't get Deuteroy yet. But I'm wondering if, in a turn, the Deuteroy will be available for training. So, yeah, I'm just planning ahead, guys. Just, just planning a little bit ahead. And I don't think they will. What's this? Yeah, no, we cannot get the Deuteroy without going to level 2. And level 2 doesn't allow the Deuteroy either. Level 3 is when we start getting the Deuteroy. So... We need to upgrade this definitely ASAP. 6,500 to do so, though. But anyway, let's get into the battle here. I will see you there, guys. Yes. We look for a victory worthy of Hercules himself. Yes, we do. This is a mighty task, but we are men enough to do it. Yes, glorious. Well, I think this battle is going to be very much about surrounding them on the town square troops here 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 and here itself as well so that's pretty much what we're gonna do so i'll see you in a little bit here he is the bastard antigonus Ganatus. he is the man we have come here today to kill we have uh you know missed opportunities to try and kill this man but our rage over the death of our father is not to be underestimated we definitely want to get rid of this man once and for all. And of course, we have to be so careful of this this Thessalian cavalry, guys. Because like we've seen before, they are, in fact, an incredibly beastly unit. And we don't have that much infantry. As much as it looks like a lot, it's really not that much. Here we go. Breaching the city walls, my friends. Breaching the city walls. I'm going to try and surround this phalangite unit if we can. Try and get as much ammo off on them as possible. Come on, Thurio Foray. Let's get out. Let's get out. Let's go. Will you go, please? 
You guys can fire your ammo. You guys can get here, maybe. If you can get even there, that'd be great. And then these guys can get there and hopefully start firing at them. We'll also get these guys there ready to charge into them. And we're going to protect our flank here as well. Now, we've got the general's bodyguard there. So this is why I'm not coming in. But here comes the Thessalian cavalry. If they want to come in, we're going to get our deuteroy in to try and sandwich them. There we go. There's some javies going off at them as well. There they go. You guys get into phalanx mode now. Phalanx mode ASAP. Here they come. If we can kill them with the phalanx, that would be fantastic. You guys should want to fire there. I don't know why you're not. No, 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 no. Just, just stand there for God's sake and fucking fire. You imbeciles. Honestly. Fire. Don't run at them. Fire. There we go. Well done, you idiots. Come on, man. Sometimes. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. I have your best interests at heart, my friends. There we go. Now, Holt, now you should want to fire. Please fire and don't be a dickhead. There we go. This is better. Come on. The Salian cavalry getting absolutely hammered here. Are you going to fire or not? Fire. Well, they've only got one more volley. No, no, no. Fire, you idiots. There we go. Now fire. Now you're going to fire. Good. Now we can charge them. Hopefully get rid of them. Kill this Thessalian cavalry. And then let's see what Antigonus Gennatus wants to do. It's going to be a tough, tough old fight, this. There we go. That's better. That's better. They got most of their javelins off. That's all we need. Now, these guys still have a few javelins, but not too many. But I'm so glad we managed to take out this Thessalian cavalry. Because like we've seen before, they are an insanely good unit. So by taking them out with a phalanx, I'm very happy. Let's also get these guys out now. Because I don't want to get surrounded by Thurio Foroi. Come on, guys. Path. Path. Come on. <laughs> there we go. They actually did quite a good job of that. Good. Now the Thurio Foroi are in there. They're getting absolutely slammed by more javelins. Don't mind if they fire a couple of javies into us as well. That's fine because this Thurio Foroi can uh, deal with that. You guys. Yeah, this uh, Chalk Speedes is fully like surrounded now. Good. And unfortunately, this Deuteroy is going to take a bit of a battering. But they have really forged the way. So I'm very happy for them. Good, 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 good. And hopefully we can rout a few men. But very unlikely with Antigonus the Blessed and his high command. I think that's going to be very hard to do. Come on, kill these Tarantines, the rest of them. Hopefully they all die. But this Thurio 4, right? Oh my god, they just fired some Javis and just killed like half of the rest of the Thessalian cavalry. <laughs> but there we go. Come on, kill them. Kill them, men. God damn it. Hurry up. Hurry up with your killing. This poor unit of uh, Deuteroy is going to be completely destroyed, it seems. But it was worth it. We'll try and get them out of the fight once this Thurio Foroi is gone. And do we have anyone else we can send in? I mean, you guys are over there. Yeah, this is just going to be a brutal, brutal fight. So we are bringing our general nice and close. Now, the way to check the general's um, radius for his increase to the stats, the attack stats of these boys because within the radius the command will give them extra sort of bonuses so if you press alt when you're hovering over them you can see the things that are affecting their morale and if it says spirits lifted by general's encouragements that means they're getting those bonuses whereas if they don't like for example over here i don't think oh no they actually can reach all the way over there but if it didn't have that then they wouldn't be getting the bonuses We've finally got rid of those three oh four. Right? Actually, you guys don't fire. Please don't fire. Don't fire anymore. So now we can finally bring our secondary regiment into the fight. So we're going to bring this guy straight in there. We're also going to bring these guys in. And who else have we got? I mean, these guys have run out of ammo for now. So I'm just going to pop them over there. These guys are going to be useful, though. I think the best place for them will be down the center to go and deal with firing into the enemy to try and get them to fight us. I'm going to bring the general in too. I'm going to bring him close to these guys to start with. And that is all our troops, really. We are very battered and very bruised. But I'm hoping we have enough even after this to deal with the uh, the drawout battle that it is at Demetrias. So I'm hoping we can do that. 
but I guess we'll find out. I'm going to send these guys through. Here we go. Let's halt then. Let's halt. Halt. There they go. There comes the... Oh, my God. Just like a machine gun killing them then. But really, we need to kill Antigonus. Need to find him. He's there. Kill him, my friends. Kill him. Right, let's get our general in here. Get him around that way. And let's see whether we can deal with those boys. The Chalcosmides are still fighting. Fair play to them. They are very, uh, very, very tough unit right now. Let's get these guys through there too. And these units, let's have a look. Probably want them to go all the way around that way. So let's send them that way. And let's see whether we can charge our general in here. Really to put an end. This is for Pyrrhus, my friends. For Pyrrhus. We shall charge and you shall die, Antigonus. For Pyrrhus. Here we come. Glorious charge. In Pyrrhus's name. Here we come. Kill him. Kill him. There he is. There he is. Kill him. Kill him. Come on, guys. Kill him. <laughs> there we go. Glorious. For Pyrrhus. We have won this battle. Well, I mean, go into those guys because they're Thracian Hippocontisti, I think. So we can actually probably break them quite easily. I don't like their uh, their jabby throwing. But apart from that, we should be able to kill them pretty darn quickly. Come on, especially if we can get the Phalangites into them. Come on, kill them. They shouldn't be able to fire now with, with, with fighting them. And we should be able to absolutely demolish them while they're firing because they're not actually fighting us. But yes, what a brutal battle this has been. I knew it would be, but I didn't realize it would be quite this brutal. But it has been a pretty good battle nonetheless as well. So let's get these guys through here. A pretty fun battle, actually. A really fun... It's fun to do a siege battle where they actually fight you at the walls rather than, you know, just, just doing nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get these guys back. You guys should be in phalanx mode. I don't know why you've stopped being in phalanx now. And we're going to bring you here, if we can. Where's the other Phalangite? You're still there. So I think definitely worth getting you up to here. Let's get these uh, Acontisti. Let's get them down this way. This unit is unfortunately going to take a bit of a da bit of damage fighting. But that's fine. We'll get the uh, Hoplites behind. Like I say, we might need to go back for retraining after this. But I'm hoping we have enough to actually deal with the enemy. So let's go around this way for the draw out battle. And. Ah, this goddamn Phalangite units decided to go this way. That's so stupid. Why? Not that way at all. Go this way. There we go. So dumb, man. So dumb. Surely you guys can fire now. So let's fire. Don't mind taking a bit of fire from them. Let's get up here as well. And uh, we'll get you guys in there. And hopefully we can get them off the town square. I don't want you firing at them. I want you firing at the Thurio Thurioforoi, Thurio Thurioforoi, please. Come on. Fire at them. There we go. That's better. Please fire at the Thurio Thurioforoi this time. Good. Good, good, good. Because I want to get them off the town square. Because we've seen how tough these guys can be. Um... So hopefully they will, because then the Hippocontisti should not be an issue on the town square. No, 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 no. Why won't they come off the town square? Classic. Right, now we'll come up this way. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. We've still got our three Zistaphoria over there. We really need to be able to recruit some cavalry. It's very, very limiting having cavalry only able to be recruited at tier three. We've got to build so many buildings for that. So, yeah, it's very limiting. So we really do need to be able to get some cavalry at some point. These guys gone there. Well, what I'm thinking is, well, who's a sacrificial lamb here? I mean, these Athamanian Peltas, they're probably going to be the garrison of here because they're so damaged now. We did lose that single Deuteroy. What I'm thinking of doing is charging in and then charging away and seeing whether we can draw them off the square. So charge, attack them, and then go. Then go. Go. I don't care if you get killed or anything. Just go. Go. Why do you never listen? Fucking listen. Listen. Run. There we go. Thank you. God damn it. I've been salty in the last two episodes, so we've got that salt going now, guys. <laughs> well, let's get our 
our guys in here and let's see what they want to do. I mean, if they want to just fuck around, then let's just kill them. I don't want to fuck around any longer. You guys get back. Let's also get these guys here. And let's get these guys in behind as well if we can. And hopefully we can deal with these Thurio Fori once and for all. Oh, here comes more jabbies. That's good. Good. They still, they just want to be on the town square, don't they? They just don't want to, to leave it. Come on, men. Kill them all. There we go. Look at them go. They're just like blobbing on the town square. There we go. Well, we can maybe try and push them off if we get our men up that way. And just get you guys in there as well. Okay. There we go. They broken. Let's keep on going. Come on, men. Come on, men. Let's go. Oh, they're going for the charge. Good, 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 good. That's it. That's what we like to see. Where are you going, man? Where are you going? What are you doing, Thurio 4 i Did I tell you to do that? No. So why do you do it? Kill them. All right. They're trying to push through. That's good for us because we can actually maybe push them off the town square. If we can get there, that'd be good. Where's our general? Let's bring him up here as well. So we get better stats. And yeah, hopefully we can push them. It looks like they're just on it right now. So if we can push them back slightly, that'd be fantastic. But this is just going to be a bit of a grind session. Let's get our guys rallied. There we go. Oh, a brutal, brutal siege. But a glorious one, nonetheless. And about equal. I mean, that's about fair enough. Was any of those Deuteroy healed? No. No. Oh, no. These guys were. These guys were. Oh, good. Good. They, they only did 16 casualties. Well, they forged away for us anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. Not, not great stats, but we won in the end. And we have taken revenge for our father, Pyrrhus. Here we are, guys, and let us enslave. And unfortunately, nothing for us to build. Oh, I should have occupied because this was our town. Well, <laughs> well, that's dumb, but it's fine anyway. And I think best option, Athamanian Peltas to leave in here. Let's go for that. And in fact, no, we can't go up to high. We can leave on normal. Now, what's in this army? Two Thurio Foroi. We've seen the Macedonian Thurio Foroi be very, very damaging, though. Let's go around this way so we don't get blocked by Larissa. <laughs> uh, what's this? More retinues. Oh, I know a slave trader now. Oh, dear. Well, let's go for this and try and do a drawout battle. It should be a lot more equal than you would think due to our very damaged army. But I think we can still win as long as we kill the generals. So I will see you there, guys. A battle is never an easy thing to no, it's not. Before breakfast, what about second breakfast? Yes, well, I mean, the last couple of episodes, we've not expanded very much. But we have, of course, you know, um, beaten a lot of armies. But it just looks like they just constantly got more and more armies <laughs> to fight us. So we'll have a bit of a fatter formation for these boys than normal. We'll also get the 304. They're going to flank. And we'll use the uh, these guys in there as well as part of the front line to tank the Thurio Foroi. And hopefully we can kill them quite easily. Um, but there come their reinforcements as well. We've also got some Athamanian Peltas as reinforcements. We'll probably actually swap out one of the Acontisti for the Athamanian Peltasts when we get chance. But let's speed it up and let's see what they want to do. Okay, looks like they're going in to fire at us. That's fine. We, these guys are just meat shields for the Thurio Foroi at this point. And I want them to be because I don't want the Thurio Foroi shredding our men with their missiles. So get firing, my men. There we go. And fire at them. You guys fire at them as well. I don't, I'm don't. i not worried about the Peltas at all. Fire at those boys. And once they've fired, they should charge. So let's uh, start moving through. There we go. And let's get these guys up into the fight. Here they come. Here they come. Get back. Get back. Get back, you bastards. I'll break your legs. Get back, you bastards. There we go. Shoot at them now. Right. Thurio 4 Our Thurio 4 Let's get you round. 
And you guys can come back for a second. Just not worry. Look at them. What are they doing? <laughs> nice. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Right. Let's keep coming forward. And let's get our Peltas forward as well. And these guys. Thurio Foroy, let's bring you round. This is more shaky than this battle should has any right to be right now, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, let's keep uh, let's keep moving forward then. Keep coming, my men. Keep coming. Let's try and squeeze them out. Squeeze them out. Squeeze them. Squeeze. Squeezy squish. I don't know why the Thurio Foroy doesn't want to engage us. Quite annoying, I'm not going to lie. Quite annoying. You guys get in there. Kill them. And we shall fight them. Oh, good charge by them, to be fair. Good charge. We did not manage to get any Javis off. That's the uh, that's the unfortunate thing there. Now, you guys, you can still fire. So we'll get you around this side. It's going to be quite... Why do they still get to fire when they've engaged, man? You guys fire in there now. Where's our general? There we go. Good. General's dead. One of them, at least. And these guys should be fighting them. You guys fire in the back. You guys fire in the back. You guys can come around and fire at them. We're going to go after the uh, the Peltasts. Okay, no, we're not. We're going to go charge these guys. Rally so we don't die. And bang, straight in there. Why do they get to fire again? Stop it. You dickheads, man. Now fire at them. Go, go, go. We've still got this Thurio Foroy as well. If they can get in there and fire as well, that'd be great. Let's try and get these guys... This is the problem with not having any good cavalry. And the Athamanian Peltas have come, so let's get them in the fight. There we go. Instantly routed these boys. Kill as many as we can, because remember, we still need to kill 85% of this army. And if we don't kill, like, all of these guys, we may not do that. So, you guys now fire. This is good. This is good. What a battered army. We need to save some money to uh, retrain these boys, don't we? <laughs> God damn it. They have been absolutely battered. There we go. Kill some more. Kill some more. I mean, once they get under 10, that'll be fine. Then we can use our cavalry to try and break the rest of these men. They're shaken already there. Good. Let's go for the charge. Uh, let's go for the charge. There we go. Athamanians, honestly, don't think there's anything you can really do right now. Let's also rally again so we don't lose our general. There he goes. And hopefully this is enough to break them. Broken. There we go. Good, 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 good. Don't want them to fight to the death. I do want them to uh, run away so we can chase them down. Let's go for our secondary charge in on these boys and hopefully that will break them. Come on. Come on. God, Alexander's up to three gold chevrons already now. That's crazy. That is good. Very good for us. These guys wavering again. Let's go for one more charge and hopefully that's enough. Yes, there we go. Right, let's continue because we need to kill all of them. I'll see you at the end, guys. A heroic victory. So that was a cheap settlement we took there. Very good. Back with Demetrias. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Glorious victory. Let's take Demetrias. Let's just occupy because it is a large town. They have built a recruitment hub in there, so that's a waste of money for them. That's fantastic for us. And we can actually afford to pop that in because we've got some obviously some construction bonuses do we want it though i mean not really this is more of an economic hub so in fact let's just go for the land clearance instead and let's leave behind 75 acontistai i don't want them taking this back let's also swap out this acontistai for the athamanian peltas because they're better and we need to go back for retraining now there's nothing else we can do this army is fully spent at this point we've taken a couple of settlements opportunistically we've destroyed a big army of the antigonids of course so yeah we need to come back and i just hope that this army doesn't come down because look at that <laughs> that is a very tasty army i'm not gonna lie and we just need cavalry like why can we not afford to get any cavalry there's the aetolians what are you doing guys that's not not great for us because that's the route we want to come through. Oh, God damn. If we have to go that way, we really need some more secure routes through here. I mean, taking that settlement would allow us to come through a lot better. But 
God damn Itolians. Why do you have to be dickheads like this? It's not even your land. <laughs> it's not even your goddamn land. Come on. Right, let's have a look. Is there anything else we can build? Hygienion. Pointless settlement, really. Let's go for that population growth because we've got 7% right now. We want to back that up with even more. Anywhere else that's worth building anything or we can build anything? No, nothing at all. And we're making 12,000 a turn now. Pretty darn good. Anyway, I'll see you after the end turn. So we've got some more units in our places. Now, unfortunately, though, they are the Greek hoplites. And I've got to say, so far, this unit has been useless. Like, the hoplites in our army just get absolutely destroyed. So I think we need to start going again more towards a deuteroid. Now, let's try and do some juicy um, maneuvering of experience. Well, that didn't work at all, did it? So, how about in there? Okay, no, it's not really doing anything. I was hoping... Oh, no, we've lost so much. There we go. That's better. And let's see if we can do that again. Okay. So, <laughs> overall, we actually lost experience there. I was hoping we could have gained some, but it looks like not. And I think, honestly, at this point, the Deuteroy are really genuinely carrying our army. So... Let's queue one in, but first we need to make sure we can afford to queue one in. I mean, if I don't retrain you, we can actually queue one in and retrain you next turn. So let's do that instead. Spartans still haven't attacked, and Thebai Pathiotides is rioting, so we're going to have to go down to high there and rebuild that. Argos has now emerged as well. Very good. Now, I haven't really moved my Diplomat for a couple of turns, so I'll do that in between turns again. But now, Ferai has those city barracks, but that actually hasn't made any difference because we need to get at least the second level of recruitment and up to the third level as well. So we're still a long way away from that. Uh, where did we get the second level? Oh, here. So this is where we need to start building up some more troop recruiting facilities. That second level, though, we can still only get Prodromoy. We are so limited in terms of cavalry here. So we need you to get up to being a minor city ASAP. But when we are there, hopefully we'll have enough then to start recruiting good cavalry. But I don't hold out too much hope. I'm not going to lie. Oh, hello, Sparta. Go and attack the GCS. That would be nice of you. Um, so, yeah. Oh, we. I, I didn't even notice the Aetolians had just left. <laughs> we... I just clicked it anyway. Forgot about that. And luckily they had left. So great. But anyway, guys, I'll see you again after the next turn. Oh my god. God damn you, Antigonus. I was just sat here looking at Tricker like, when did we lose Tricker? Apparently they bribed it. What absolute bastards? Why? <laughs> god damn AI, man. You you are an absolute brutal motherfucker when you want to be, I'm not gonna lie. Like most of the time you're kind of dumb and kind of cute. But sometimes, when you want to be so brutal, you can be. So we're going to have to come through this way because obviously we can't go through that GCS. That is one of our major issues right now, honestly, is our movement. So I would really like to destroy that army. Now let's, uh, let's take everyone but the nine uh, Greek hoplites and let's go that way. So hopefully they come and attack us because I'd love to defend against them. It's going to be a pretty decent army. They've still got this full stack that we need to contend with as well. Have they genuinely got no one in there? Genuinely no one? Let's come and have a look with a spy. Um, yeah, they, they genuinely have just left Falana alone. Uh, well, luckily we've just got these guys. Uh, the hoplites in there. So, thank you for Falana. It's not exactly the best town, but we'll take it. <laughs> well, you know, the AI doing very intelligent moves and matching it with an equally dumb one. But how... But how did we lose Falana, though? That was the one that we just took off Antigonus Ganatas. Did they bribe this settlement as well? What? What's going on? <laughs> I'm honestly so confused right now. Oh, we accidentally took both generals, right? Well, um, 
Helenos, go back. We want to make sure you're in there. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. I must have missed something. They may maybe bribed it last time and I just didn't notice. But let's now get an Akontistai to be our governor in here so we can move the uh, the units out, the good units. And ideally, we want damaged Akontistai as our governors, but as our garrisons. But for now, it's fine. And yeah, let's have a look around. Now, we've got 6,900 still to spend. We are recruiting there. We're not recruiting in fast loss, though. Honestly, at this point, a unit of Prodromoi would not go amiss just to chase down enemy uh, enemies and also deal with enemy cavalry as well. And we're just not building in as many places anymore. We just don't have the ability to. Uh, but yeah, Antigonia, Chionia. Let's go for the roads there so we can get the good roads after that. And let's go for the market in Kikiros. Anything else that's pretty cheap and nice to get? No. We really need to get these places upgraded because at the minute, we're really, really, we're sort of hamstrung on the second level of building, which is not that much good stuff. Like, it's not really, well, not any good stuff, really. Uh, what is this blocked by? Yeah, we need large town above. Yeah, but in, in a lot of places, we're just hamstrung by the, by the fact that they're not minor cities yet. So I really hope that we can get a few minor cities soon. But with our high tax rates and low fertilities, it's not happening, is it? And I want to keep the tax high because we need the money. When we get to the point when we can afford to just put it down, we will do. But for now, we need to keep the tax high for the money. And, and loads of these places are just a long way off. So we need to enslave some bigger cities or, you know, just get some more good buildings in there. So I'll see you after the end turn, guys. Goddamn Falana just got bloody, bloody bribed again. Are you kidding me? That is just wasting our troops. Stop, Antigonids, you absolute bastards. Try and actually fight me, you absolute cowards. God damn it. Oh my God. Oh, this is infuriating. Two step forwards, four steps back at the minute. God damn it. Well, let's go and take... I mean, is, is there any point in taking Falana if they're just going to bribe it? I mean, I, yeah, let's go for Larissa. What have they got in there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mercenaries available? No mercenaries. They've probably taken all of those. I've no idea where that full stack's gone either. Where is our spy then? Let's come back around this way. Looks like they're there. No, that's just a normal army. Looks like they're going to fight someone else. Good, good. Get away. Get away. I'm done with your shit, honestly. <laughs> I'm more done with this goddamn diplomat. What a bastard. Now, could we try and bribe him? I need I need assassins to kill their diplomats. <laughs> that would be the best option for us right now. Um, But anyway, let's... Yeah, I think we go for Larissa. If they're just going to bribe Tricker and, Foss, uh, and Falana every time... Let's go for Larissa and then see. I mean, we may as well just stick those three Zistaphoroi in there. And let's enslave. Go down to low. And they're probably going to bribe us again. But that's fine. Because uh, it's only three Zistaphoroi. Uh, it would be some nice experience to take. But that's fine. In fact, yeah. And let's go. Let's just go for their capital. Because it's their capital. They should want to defend it. Uh, but they can't actually reach. <laughs> oh, this, this army can. Well, that's okay then. But this is a minor city, so this should be a lot better for enslavements. Get all our population up and also, of course, give us an ability to maybe recruit some better units further down the line. So, yeah, let's have a look in here though. now, though. We have got the second Epirote recruitment that only allows us to recruit those units. So we do need to get to level three. But for now, while it's upgrading, let's go for the cavalry stables. That'll be good. And, you know, if they're going to do this to Falana every time, let's get rid of the stables at least. I think we'll leave the rest in there. I know we could probably maybe squeeze a little bit more cash out of them. Could also go for a recruitment hub at Thebai Pathetides. But honestly, let's take the money. We need the money more than anything right now. And Thebai Pathetides is not going to be a recruitment hub anytime soon. So let's get rid of that. And, yeah, these two are our recruitment hubs. How about Iginion? Yeah, nothing to delete there. That's fine. So let's use that money to actually build some better buildings. So Fenike, 
Let's have a look. And actually, actually, let's uh, recruit some more Deuteroid first. Let's go for that. Make sure that we queue that in. And what else can we build then? Nothing good in there. Nothing good in there. Nothing. Let's have a look at our new places. I mean, I'm not going to build in Falana, obviously. Build the roads in Iginion. And Demetrias. Let's go for the farming. Lucas. Nothing really there. And let's go for farming over here. Keep building up that economy. Just keep on going. Keep on ticking over. Hopefully they come and attack us at Larissa. That would be great. Because another siege battle like the last one is going to be brutal. But let's see what we can do anyway. We need to, you know, get some more garrisons in these places. Yeah, we're getting the Akontistai. So once they're in Ferai, we can actually send the Hoplites into this army. It's a 12 out of 20 army so far. And we've also got a Deuteroy coming to join. So we'll send them through to join as well. That'd be great. Don't like that Spartan army there at all. Can we retrain those boys? No, we can't. So let's click the end turn and I'll see you there. Sparta's finally decided that that war was insane. <laughs> so... Yeah, let's take the oh, ceasefire. Thanks. Let's also try not to get an alliance because they're allied with the Antigonids. The let's get a trade. That is the also. most cursed thing. Why are you allied with the Antigonids? Let's also try and get a little bit of cash for our map information. Maybe a thousand. Would you consider two thirty? I mean, oh, I mean, thanks. it's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Getting my diplomat around, I've just like realized that the Antigonids have basically just allied everyone. Like, what is going on? The Seleucids, Boeotians, Pergamon, Sparta, and Priene. It seems like they're allied with more people than that, but they, they have really, really gone ham, which, fair enough in trying to defend themselves. But if they just use their armies, then maybe they could defend themselves without the alliances. Now Umbrakia is a minor city, which is glorious. So we can also maybe start getting the Hippodrome. Now I'm going to not... I'm going to save money then and get the Hippodrome next turn because we really do need that we need cavalry <laughs> we need cavalry a red z army without cavalry is like i don't know i can't even think of an <laughs> i'm so brain broken by my lack of cavalry <laughs> oh dearie dearie me absolutely fookered we are by the lack of cavalry so let's get our men into the army and let's take their goddamn capital off them. And they didn't actually bribe Falana. What a glorious, glorious sight to see. Ah, but they're very unhappy. Oh, dear. Well, for the time being, let's stick this Akontistai in there. Yeah, they're very happy now. Let's go up to high. Let's go up to high tax rate. Good. They're still growing very much so. And let's queue in another Akontistai so we can replace this unit in here. In Ambrakia, we're still getting some more Deuteroy. Very good. In fact, I would like... I kind of would like another spy. But... I think it's just a waste of money. I mean, it's 100 a turn. It doesn't sound like a lot. But I think that is definitely just a waste of money. So, let's go after Larissa. And let's see if we can kill Antigonus Gonatus and take Larissa all in one turn. That would be a glorious episode wouldn't it, my friends? So let's get going. A feeling, something appalling, something for everyone in what I'm... The gate is down, my friends. So let's get this hoplite in there. They are firing missiles. I don't really want to deal with that. In fact, I want to hold them here. So I'm willing to sacrifice this hoplite again. Like I say, they're pretty trash, I'm not going to lie. And we'll try and get the rest of our men through this wall when it gets knocked down. So go on, Hoplites. I know you're going to be damaged, but that's fine. No problem whatsoever. All their troops are on this right-hand side. So we can maybe try and, you know, flank them around this side maybe if we get our general round here. But yeah, we just want to hold these boys on this side. And then maybe, just maybe, we can flank all the way around. But we shall see. Come on, boys. So now we've got... Okay, no, 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 no. Not the way for you guys to go, please. <laughs> now we've got these guys in. Let's get our men through and there. Uh, and let's get these guys in there as well. Hopefully they start fighting pretty well in here. There we go. Let's go. You guys keep moving as well. This poor uh, Greek hoplite is going to get back 
absolutely battered like we've seen before. But yeah, let's keep fighting. Go on, boys. Keep on the way. And there we go. Here come the cavalry. Quick, quick, quick. Get your phalanx down, my men. Get your phalanx down. There we go. You, you guys too. And here comes the general. Hopefully we can deal with this sister for right pretty darn quickly. Come on, guys. Yeah, they're already shaken. What else do they have here? They've got just Greek slingers. Then we're hoping we can get our guys back through so we can surround this whole army. Here comes their general as well. That's a good little uh, cheeky one. Let's try and get our men here so they can fire through. Now, where are these guys? Yeah, we need to get these guys in here. Firing into the general's bodyguard and their Chalka Speeders. Let's keep coming, guys. Let's keep coming. Keep firing through him. Keep firing through. Get you off that. Get you off that so you will actually form up there. Oh, and it looks like we have destroyed that unit. Good. Good, good, good. They're getting the Chalka Speeders in there, though. What have we got? So we've got you guys. Let's get you off this. Let's get going through. And who else do we have? We've got a unit of you boys. Let's keep coming as well. Come on, men. Let's go. Let's go, men. Let's go. Okay, looks like they're going to go for the charge again. I don't know why. Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb, but fair enough. Right, guys. Can you now fire, please? Fire in the Chalka Speeders, please. You guys, too. I would like you to fire into the Chalka Speeders. I don't really mind. Like, why do you do this? Just fire. You've got, you've got the, uh, you've got the angle. You've got the range. Now this unit, our uh, guys, let's halt them, because these guys do not have their phalanx down right now. So yeah, we need to kill the general and the Chalka Speeders. That'd be great. And looks like they managed to uh, die. Good. Right. If they're gonna, if they're gonna send their guys in through this way. We will try to surround them, of course. Our general's here. Looks like their general is running. Good. Kill these guys. Kill them. Kill them all. They're trying to just push through. I never get this when they push through. Like, how does that not result in them having massive losses? Because all it tends to do is just have my men lose so many men due to them doing that. Oh, here's their general. Let's go after him then. Let's go after him. Here comes the Chalka Speeders. Good. Good. Get you guys on Phalanx as well. You guys can get back here. Glorious. Glorious. So, ah, I much prefer these siege battles where they're actually fighting. These are so much more fun than uh, when they're just, you know, going mental. If we could get the Athamanian Peltas in there, maybe we'd win. Come on, General. Kill him. Kill Howley. Hal Kionius. Finally, we might have a city. A minor city. Or a second minor city after Ambrakia became one. Come on, guys. Path properly, please. There we go. Halt. Now you should be able to just devastate them, surely. Come on. Right, let's get them off guard mode because it's just fucking them up, I think. There we go. Kill. 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 There we go. There we go, boys. Kill, kill, kill. Kill. Kill the ball right in the side of them. Very nice. Very nice. Right, let's get these guys here as well if they can get there without getting engaged in melee. Let's also get our boys over here. Have we killed everyone here? We have. Fantastic. Right then. One of the uh, Deuteroi, again, took a monstrous amount of damage. But let's get them round this way. Who else do we have here? We've got a Thurio Foroi. Let's get them round with a Silver Experience. That's very good. And what is the rest of you? I mean, it's so many troops. So many troops. Let's get you all around this way if you can. Come on, boys. Let's go. Now they're going to go that way. So let's get around this way, please. Thank you. And once this Chalka Speeders is dead, which shouldn't be too long, then we all we have to beat is a uh, Greek Slinger, which is great. And we've not taken that many losses this battle, which is very good. These guys are still steady. Not sure I uh, respect or like that. <laughs> Come on, men. Come on. Right, I will see you in a little bit, guys. Oh, and we just we just ended up routing everyone at the same time. That's fantastic. So let's end the battle. And we lost ooh, just about three quarters, nearly three quarters of what they lost. So a good result for a siege battle after all. And some really, 
Really good kills for the boys. Very nice indeed. No experience, unfortunately, but I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. So I think we definitely want to enslave, although it doesn't look like Larissa has many people, but that should really help with growing our settlements a little bit quicker. The next thing is to have a look. What do we have in here? I mean, there's an Odeon, so that could be worth destroying. What is the temple? They've built the Temple of Dionysus. Honestly, that's not too bad. I'm kind of happy with that. But finally, a minor city. And we also now have enough money to build the Hippodrome. So we're not going to be able to build anything in here for now. But let's have a look at what our troops are. Because, yeah, I'd really want to take Tricker, definitely. While they have, like, nobody in there. So let's go for that. Who do we want to leave behind? I mean, I'll leave the Akontistai. They're the cheapest unit. Definitely need someone on the front line here. I just hope that they don't bribe our settlement again. Because that's just so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. I bet their uh, diplomat's got loads of... Yeah, no, three influence is not that much. But I was going to say, I bet he has loads from just managing to pull off these bribes. <laughs> but it's fine anyway. How has that helped with our growth, though? Yeah, 4,000 in there. 4,000 there, too. Larissa, as well, has got 3,800 now. So, yeah, it's going to be a long time before these places grow, especially in here. But Adamantos, uh, sorry, in Pissaron, will actually be able to grow relatively soon. So, I'm just going to pop that onto low, keep them happy, and also grow a little bit quicker. Maybe reduce that t uh, time to a turn rather than a couple of turns and we are getting the hippodrome now as well fantastic so do we have enough money to retrain no right then let's go one more turn guys and let's see where we get to no no not the pathlogonian boys oh no my heart my soul oh no <sighs> Genuinely two of my favorite of the unplayable factions because they start in such a hard position. <laughs> oh, God. No, 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 no. Paplajonia and Acragas. That is not what we wanted to see. That is a sad, sad, sad sight to see, my friends. Very sad indeed. Well, all they have is some slingers. So, yeah, 18. That sounds about reasonable. Let's enslave this poor town of Tricker. It's a large town, but it's got 789 people living in it. Oh, dear. That is awful. Awful, awful. This this area has been pretty devastated, I'm not going to lie. Pretty darn devastated. But fantastic. Now Pissaron grows, so we don't even need to keep it on low. So let's pop that in. Straight in there. Of course, those factions have been destroyed. Not by us. Finally, the Antigonids have a new uh, new enemy, which is Rhodes again. But they're probably going to cease fire very soon afterwards. Antigonia Chionia now has uh, some Rhodes. Good. And Larissa got that rebuilt. So I think for Larissa... Hmm, how rich are we? 1,300. No corruption. Not much trade either. And Larissa actually doesn't have a port. We really need to start upping our port game. Because like I say, the ports are so good for your economy. We need more settlements with ports. So we need to really come around this coast and take all these. That would be good. Is Thessalonica? Thessalonica is a minor city as well. Oh, we're so close to being able to push up there. These, like, these settlements are really not very good. So I'd prefer to, you know, focus on Macedon's homeland. And really reclaim the Macedonian throne that way. Rather than, you know, messing around going up this way. So I think we will just power through. Go Dion uh, up to Baroya. Because we'll be on a bridge there. So if we get attacked. And maybe try and bait them onto this bridge. Ah! That's why. Oh no, they can't really come down too much. They're getting a bit confused, I think, by this rebel. <laughs> that is just blocking the bridge. What boys? Thank you. I owe you. Some of my allegiance. I wish you could bribe, like, rebels to join you. Can you bribe rebels to join you? I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments down below anyway. Um, so let's have a look at what we can build now. And, yeah, let's have a look. For Nike. let's have a look. Nothing in there. This place is a little bit unhappy, mainly because they're going to grow soon. So that's good. We are finally getting up to the point now where we can get a few minor cities. Let's have a look down here at some of our 
sort of a recruitment hub. So Farsalos is getting that, but Theotides is not one, is it? Let's have a look. Where's the other one? Um, so Farsalos, we've also got Ferai. Yeah, Ferai is a recruitment hub. Wait, Ferai is only level one recruitment, though. Was Farsalos a level two? Yes, it was. Good. Tricker. Yeah, Tricker, let's build the farms because that's always a good thing to get. And Larissa, I think it's worth getting uh, Larissa. And honestly, an academy would be very, very worthwhile for us. Um, but also a recruitment would because we can actually get up to level 3 recruitment. What AOR is in Larissa? The Solian Cavalry still in Larissa. Well, the recruitment hubs take a long time. So, I mean, it's only three turns for the Academy. So let's get the Academy, then we'll go for the Recruitment Hub. Just because if we stop off here, we can maybe get one of our Generals. If we get a General in here, we can get them making a lot of money for us. All that sort of thing and sort of grow and get some more retinues and some better traits as well. So this Deuteroy, you need to keep coming round. Do we have anyone else that's that's been recruited? Yes, we've got the Prodromoy, so let's get them in there. Who else? I mean, these guys, I would like you to go back to Ambrakia because when that's done, you'll be able to retrain maybe. Uh, let's have a look then. Do we need Sister 4 right? Third tier stables. Yeah, now that's what we're getting. Yes, so we will. Once that's done, we'll be able to get that. Fantastic. Level 4? What do we need for the Molossians? Molossian Agima, fourth tier stable. So that is huge city level. Oh, well, but... And then what about these guys? Fourth tier barracks. Third tier barracks for the Ambrachioti Phalangites. So, yeah, that's actually quite good. And our reforms that unlocks the Espidophoroi is to have a huge city, which seems honestly a ridiculously long way away at this point in the game. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please do like and subscribe. Only 25% of you that watch these videos are actually subscribed. So if you're not, please do subscribe. It really does help the channel out, especially on our road to 5,000 subscribers. But thank you for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.